Let's talk about printing your invoices. You want to print your invoices so that you can deliver them to your customers in order to get paid. There's two ways to print invoices. One we like to call printing on the fly. This is where you print invoices one at a time while you're processing them. The other is called batch printing and that's where you process a batch of invoices, save them, and then print them all at once. Let's look at the printing on a fly process first. Come to the tasks pull down menu and come down to sales invoicing. Let's pull up an invoice that's already in the system. Here's one to Smith Furniture that is unpaid. Let's open this invoice. Now, if we had just processed this invoice and just entered it into the system, this field would be blank. We want to leave this field blank because Peachtree will assign an invoice number when we print the invoice. So we process this invoice including any information within here including customer PO, any ship terms, ship date, terms which are these are the standard default terms that's why they're shaded out if we want to change them we simply come here and we can change these terms and the sales rep there's no sales rep with this invoice once we have the invoice ready to print we simply click on the print button you would click here we're going to click on the preview button so that it'll come up on the screen preview we're given this window next here we can either use the last form which is the invoice plane or we can select a different form by clicking this button let's look at this this is going to pull up all available invoices that we can choose from to print these are all the invoices the standard invoice forms that come with your Peachtree software if you had customized any invoices they would be in here as well and they would be listed at the top let's use the invoice plane again Peachtree suggests the next available invoice number we click OK and Pe Peachtree pulls up the form on our screen the same way it will look when we print it let's magnify it a little bit and we can see how it looks we'll scroll up here here this address section this will show up nicely in a window envelope now let's close this window and let's talk about one other thing editing an invoice after we've printed an invoice we can still go in and make changes to it and print it again using the same invoice number so if we print an invoice and realize as we're stuffing the envelope that we have something incorrect we simply can come back in here again tasks sales invoicing open come in here to the Smith furniture invoice open it and we can make changes to it again and then we can print it so the accounting records are updated in real time based on changes we make to the invoice now let's look at the other method for printing invoices the batch method to print a batch of invoices come here under the reports pull down menu and come to accounts receivable here scroll down to the invoices slash credit memos slash packing slips folder open this folder and choose the form you want to print we're going to use the invoice plane once again and we're going to use the preview button here we're given a couple of choices we can batch print all unprinted invoices or all printed invoices now you might ask yourself why would I want to print a batch of invoices that have already been printed let's say that we want to have a copy of all the invoices we've already printed and sent to our customers and we want to print these all at once for the entire month and keep these in a file that would be a time that you would want to choose printed invoices 
Let's look at unprinted invoices. Over here, even though we selected the invoice plain form, we can still change it here and select other forms. Peachtree suggests the next available invoice number here. Down here are some excellent filter criteria. In this filter range table, we can select a customer ID. For example, let's say that we have numerous invoices to Chapman Murphy Law Offices. We would want to select this customer in both the from and the to columns of the table. An example of this would be, let's say we process invoices throughout the month for this customer. And we don't want to barrage them with invoices every day or every week. Instead, we print them all at one time and send them to them at the end of the month. The next line is customer type. If you categorize your customers in different type categories, you can print customers for, or print statements and invoices just for that customer type. Finally, include drop shipments here. Yes, let's go ahead and print invoices for drop shipments. Let's clear out this field and click OK. And this is the first unprinted invoice in the system. All looks good and we're ready to click on print. Now we can print our invoices and send them off to our customers and get paid.